viewers in this video I will try to discuss uh, net or slat or set exams paper 1 question paper of previous year now without any delay let's begin the discussion the first question that we have got is identify the non probability sampling technique from the following simple random sampling systematic sampling stratified sampling purposive sampling so it will be purposive sampling okay two says uh, the items in a questionnaire should be presented in the following order general to specific easy to very difficult known to unknown simple to complex so it will be general to specific three says Survey Monkey does an online reference tool facilitates what tax analysis survey templates SPSS integration real time result. So it will be survey templates. Forces uh, ethics in research is not concerned with what claiming others' ideas as one's own political ideology of the researcher, invasion of participants' privacy, uh, self pleasurism. So, four number B will be correct political ideology of the researcher now five says <clears throat> uh, match list one with uh, match list list one containing the type of research problem with the list two containing the method of research so in this one we have got research problem and list two we have got research method peer interaction in a racially mixed classroom of an urban high school developmental pattern of intelligence among middle school students Effect of watching television on science achievement of ninth grade students. Impact of education on social status of marginalized groups. Okay. Then in list two we have got research method. Cross sectional survey research. Expo facto. Ex post facto research. Ethnographic research. Experimental research. Now choose the correct code. So it will be number B will be correct. That means a will be related to 4 b will be 1 c will be 4 sorry 3 uh wait i will repeat it again hmm. wait 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 question number four we we were discussing right yes uh, ethics is uh, ethics in research is not concerned with this we have done sorry five is saying so according to the ans official answer key five correct answer will be uh, number b b b will be correct if b will be correct then what will be the correct answer mm, a will be rel related to three uh, research sorry peer interaction in a racially mixed classroom of an urban high school will be related to three ethnographic research then b1 b was developmental pattern of intelligence among middle school students will be related to cross-sectional survey research and then c4 c4 effect of watching television on science achievement of ninth grade student will be experimental research then not c4 yes c4 yes d2 impact of education on social status of marginal groups will be related to uh, ex, ex post facto research moving on to question number six it says which of the following in combination characterize qualitative research research tool dependence research dependence context free generalization context specific generalization minimal citation of literature Choose the most appropriate answer from the options given below 1, 2, 1, 3, 4, 2, 4, 5, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3. So 6 number B will be correct. That means 1, sorry, 2, 4, 5. Moving on to question number 7. It says obstacles which distort the meaning of a message in a communication or term as well. Semantic barriers, deficient barriers, language barriers, structural barriers. 7 number a will be correct semantic barriers then question number 8 says in a group the logical sequence of effective communication follows the following steps forming performing norming storming adjourning 
then again forming norming storming performing adjoining then again forming storming norming performing adjoining forming norming storming adjoining performing number eight she will be correct forming storming norming performing adjoining okay then nine nine says protection of an original music composition or and recording is in in the domain of what trademark copyright brand logo so number nine b will be correct a, it is called copyright question number 10 says in a society where people learn from members of other cultures and grow together is having and what environment intercultural cross-cultural multicultural hybrid cultural 10 number a will be correct it will be an intercultural environment Moving on to question number 11, it says match the tagline stated in this one with different newspaper published in India in list 2. In this one, we have got journalism of courage, India's national newspaper it, since 1878, let the truth prevail, people's parliament always in session. List 2, the statement, Indian Express, the Hindu, the Times of India. These are the options for you. Correct answer will be B. A will be related to 2, B will be 3, C will be 4, D will be 2. Done. Now. Uh, a will be related to two that means journalism of courage is related to indian express b3 indian Na national newspaper since 1878 will be related to three the hindu c4 let the truth prevail will be the times of india then d1 people's parliament always in session will be the statesman 12 says the there are two statements given below swayam you all know indian government's MOOC platform primarily aims to do what uh, one is saying to take the best te teaching learning resources to all the learners including the most disadvantaged group two is saying not to accomplish three cardinal principles of education access equity and quality choose the right answer one and two are correct one is correct but two is in any and two is incorrect one is incorrect but two is correct both one and two are incorrect so number 12 number b will be correct that means uh, one is correct but two is incorrect third is saying maths list one containing e-learning platform with list two containing e-learning resource and in this one we have got e-learning platform and list two we have got e-learning resource diksa sayam sayam prava e patsala then in list two we have got e-learning resource online courses through MOOCs, broadcasting educational curriculum driven contents graded learning materials vidya dan these are the options for you so number 13 number d will be correct that means uh, a will be related to 4 a will be 4 b will be 1 c will be 2 and d will be 3 okay a will be 4 that means diksa will be related to uh, vidya dan dan sorry b will be related to sayam will be related to 1 or uh, online courses through MOOC C2 Swayam Prabha will be related to broadcasting educational curriculum driven contents D will be 3 E Patsala will be related to graded learning materials number 14 says which of the following maximizes the learning environment in educational institutions engaging pedagogy formative evaluation career counseling sound ethical grounding so 14 number B will be correct that is formative evaluation moving on to thirteen is done fourteen is done fifteen it says list one contains adolescent learner characteristics and list two contains their respective dimensions Mess list one with list two in list one we have got adolescent learner characteristic in list two we have got dimension uh, i will read the sequentially moving from concrete to abstract thinking in the be in the process of establishing sense of personal identity c demonstrate resilience and coping skills d focus on personal de de decision making dimensions are in list to social cognitive academic emotional now these are the options for you question number 15 correct option uh, option will be b that means a will be related to 3 b will be 1 c will be 4 d will be 3 let me read it again a will be related to 3 a means moving from concrete to abstract thinking will be related to academic b will be 1 
in the process of establishing sense of personal identity will be related to social c4 demonstrate resilience and coping skill will be related to emotional d2 focus on personal decision making will be related to cognitive question number 16 it is a mathematical question from following table provides figures in rupees on annual expenditure of, of a firm for two years 2010 and 2011 in 2011 which of the following two categories have registered by same percentage increase so these are are the materials in uh, box one where we have got category in second box uh, it is year and third the same 2010 and 2011 raw material power and fuel salary and wages plant and machinery advertising research and development and 2010 5 to double zero seven thousand nine thousand twenty thousand fifteen thousand twenty two thousand and twenty eleven six to four zero nine four five zero one two six double zero two five triple zero one nine five double zero two six four double zero now we have to find out the correct answer raw material and salary and wages salary and wages and advertising power and fuel and advertising raw material and resource and development here is question number 16 number d will be correct it will be raw material and resource and development 17 says the ratio of male to female students in a college for five years is polluted sorry plotted in the following line graph if the number of female students doubled in 2009 by what percentage did the number of male students increase in 2009 so this is the graph okay take a look at it okay pause the video and then look at it take a look at it so and then these are the options for you 81 31 41 20 17 number c will be correct that means 140 moving on to question number 18 it says given below are two statements one is level as assertion and other is level as reason assertion a reason r assertion a is saying data acquisition is the process of sampling signals that measure real world physical conditions and converting the resulting samples into digital numeric values that can be manipulated by a computer Re reason is saying data acquisition is the process of digitizing data from the world around us so it can be displayed analyzed and stored in computer in the light of the above statement, choose the most appropriate answer from the following options. Only one is correct, but R is not the proper uh, explanation of A. Both A and R are not correct. Both A and R are correct, and R, R is the correct explanation of A. Uh, only A, A is wrong, and R is proper explanation of A. Question number 18, number C will be correct. That means both A and R are correct, and R is the correct explanation of A. 19, mathematical sum. If P ratio Q equal 1 ratio 2 comma Q, Q ratio R equal 4 ratio 3 R ratio Q, R ratio S equal 4 ratio 5 and U is the few and U is 50 percent more than S what is the ratio of P ratio U 2 ratio 15 16 ratio 15 1 ratio 5 16 ratio 45 now number 19 number D will be correct 16 ratio 45 this you have to do by yourself then only you will get to know whether the answer is correct or not 20 says match items of list 1 with the items of list 2 and indicate your answer by selecting the correct code in list 1 we have got data in list 2 we have got description of data qualitative data quantitative data discrete data continuous data in list 2 we have got description of data countable or measurable description based measure in interval scale numerical and count countable these are the options for you number 20 c will be correct if c will be correct then what 1 will be 2, B will be 1, C will be 4, D will be 3. Okay. Let me read it. Uh, A will be 2. Quan qualitative data will be related to description based. B1 quantitative data will be related to countable or measurable. C will be related to 4 discrete data will be re related to numerical countable. D will be related to 3 comma continuous data will be related to measure in interval scale. 24 says find the missing. Okay. Wait. Uh, question number 21 says find the missing character from the given response so these are the table for you table means the figure 3 5 34 3 9 90 1 5 1 26 106 1 2 1 2 5 uh, 21 number uh, 26 will be correct
22 says in a certain code m-e-n-t-i-o-n mention is written as l-n-e-t-t-n-o how is pattern will be re written a-p-p-t-r-e-m p-t-a-e-t-n-r o-t-a-e-t-n-r o-t-a-e-t-r-n 22 number c will be correct that means o-t-a-e-t-n-r 23 is done now 20 sorry 22 is done 23 is saying find the missing number what will replace uh, the question mark in the following figure 4 then 3 then question mark then 4 then 4 4 8 7 5 are the options for you 23 number d will be correct that means 5 is the correct answer try to find out how 24 saying find the missing character from the diagram and choose the correct answer from the given alternatives this is the uh, figure this is the circle uh, then 216 125 64 27 8 then what 4 3 0 5 3 4 3 7 2 9 24 number c will be correct 3 4 3 find out how 25 saying find out the group of letters which is different from the others u a b b w c c h i d j e x l y m z n p e q f r g 25 number b will be correct c h i d j e 26 is saying a man has a certain number of small boxes to pack into parcels if he packs three four five or six in a parcel he is left over with one if he packs seven in a parcel none is left over what are the number of boxes he may have to pack 106 309 400 301 you can pause the video and then try to answer it by doing it 26 number d will be correct 301 27 is saying in a group of persons traveling in a bus six persons can speak tamil 15 can speak hindu uh, sorry hindi and six can speak gujarati in that group none can speak any other language if two persons in, in the group can speak two languages and one person can speak all the three languages then how many persons are there in the group 21 22 23 24 27 number c will be correct 23 then moving on to 28 it says how many squares and rectangles are present in the figure this is the figure this is the rectangle also now find out 8 9 10 12 28 number c will be correct that means 10. then 29 says two statements one and two and two conclusions one and two are given below statements are uh, one is saying some bricks are cement two is saying all cement are sand conclusions are saying no bricks are sand Two is saying bricks are cement and sand. Choose the correct alternative. One is true, two is true, both one and two are true. No, none of the conclusion is true. 29. Number B will, will be correct. Only two is correct. Moving on to 30, it says what is the next term in the following series? 2, then 15, then 41, then 18, then what? 120, 121, 132, 111. 30, 30. Number C will be correct. 132. You have to solve it by your yourself. 31 is saying moving on to question number 41 it says anthropogenic contamination is a form of a pollution of pollution produced directly by what human activities uh, vehicular traffic congestion low temperature dust pollution so 41 number a will be correct human activities 42 water pollution is what encourages the growth of invasive plants due to low levels of nitrogen and phosphate into waterways to affects the my my microflora and microflora of soil tree helps plants to grow and does not allow plants to absorb dangerous chemicals from water four affects the rate of pillow for photosynthesis of aquatic plant now choose the correct answer one and two three and four two and four one and three forty two c will be correct that means one and sorry two and four 43 saying identify the non-fossil fuel from the following coal uranium natural gas crude oil 43 number b will be correct that is uranium okay 44 is saying silent spring was authored by whom medha patkar amitabh ghos a r n t arn Haeckel, rachel carson 44 44 number d will be correct rachel carson then 45 is saying improvement sorry improve human well-being social equity reduce environmental risks and ecological scarcities are associated with the concept of social sustainability 
Green Economy, Silent Spring, Montreal Protocol. 45, number B will be correct, that is Green Economy. 46, from 46 to 50, we have to read the para paragraph and then answer the given questions. Okay, let me read it for you. Uh, read the paragraph below and answer the questions from 46 to 50. In uh, firms that employ editors, the editor is the link between the author and his publisher and an, and an author and his editor cannot buy but interact very closely. Quite apart from choosing and editing typescripts by the time a work is published. So actually this kind of paragraph is doable. So I think I have decided not to... Uh, do it um, but if you want to do it then okay let me do it but i will not read the whole if you want to read then pause it okay here i am sliding it you can pause the video and read i will uh give you the correct solution okay now 46 is saying as stated in a given para paragraph above the editor is saying what uh, he, he was saying reads through the manuscripts totally many times many times 47 is saying Moving on to question number 41, it says anthropogenic contamination is a form of a pollution of pollution produced directly by what? Human activities, uh, vehicular traffic, congestion, low temperature, dust pollution. So 41 number A will be correct, human activities. 42. Water pollution is what encourages the growth of invasive plants due to low levels of nitrogen and phosphate into waterways to affects the my, my, mycoflora and mycoflora of soil. Tree helps plants to grow and does not allow plants to absorb dangerous chemicals from water. Four affects the rate of pillow for photosynthesis of aquatic plant. Now choose the correct answer. One and two, three and four. 2 and 4, 1 and 3. 42, C will be correct. That means 1 and, sorry, 2 and 4. 43 is saying, identify the non-fossil fuel from the following. Coal, uranium, natural gas, crude oil. 43, number B will be correct. That is uranium. Okay, 44 is saying, Silent Spring was authored by whom? Medha, Patkar, Amitabh Ghosh, A.R.N.T. Arndt, Haeckel, Rachel, Carson 44, 44 number D will be correct. Rachel Carson. Then 45 is saying improvement, sorry, improve human well being, social equity, reduce environmental risks, and ecological scarcities are associated with the concept of social sustainability, green economy, silent spring, Montreal protocol. 45 number B will be correct. That is green economy. 46 from 46 to 50 we have to read the para 